What made you decide to do the thing? The money. The money. That, <laughs> that's an excellent reason. That's an excellent reason. There's someone right over there. Sorry. I met Sally Barr a few times, and I'm curious, did you ever talk to her after the movie came out, or any... She was a very colorful person. Did you yes. talk to Sally Marr after the film came out? What do you think? What, what, what was her thoughts? She on? was. She was very colorful. More, much more so than she was depicted in the film, I think. She was quite a character. Did you think that it was accurate? Or? We didn't talk about the film. I, don't, I just saw her at a party. Right. You know, I didn't really get to know her. Right, right there? Body heat, Kathleen Turner. Body heat, wow. <laughs> Turned on body heat. Yeah. I wanna go watch body heat and picture you in body heat. You'd be fantastic in that movie. Um, how about uh, anyone, I thought it was someone else over there. Way in the back, sorry. Yes, you. Uh, you gave a very compelling performance as Honey. Did you do any research or reading to prepare yourself for that role? Did you do any research in preparing yourself for the role? Um, no. No. The. <laughs> I'm lazy. <laughs> Way in the back. You're, that was yeah, so I'd like to know how you feel having had the most beautiful cover on the, on the uh, cover of How do you feel about having the most beautiful cover ever in the history of Playboy magazine? Well, that's very nice to say, but if you remember the cover, it's almost like a cartoon. It, it's like... This woman loves the cover of that Playboy magazine. <laughs> Actually, there's a picture of you with a cat in, in the Playboy magazine. That, that's my favorite picture of you. I love that picture of you and the cat. I'm, I'm a crazy person. Right there, you. What do you remember about the reaction and response to the movie at the time when it came out? What do you remember about the reaction to the, that Lenny had uh, when it came out? I guess I, it wasn't about the film. It was about suddenly how famous I was. That was, right. wow. Right. Did you, were you at the Cannes Film Festival? No, I was working with Rod. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. No wonder. You, you get best actress, you're not there, you're stuck with this horrible human being. No, wow. and I'll tell you what he did. I, they called me up and told me I'd won the Cannes Film Festival, and then I went to work, and I came on the set, and I was literally jumping up and down, saying, I won the Cannes Film Festival, I won. He said, I won, and he proceeded to say all the things that he had won, how long he'd been in the business, um, it just took my little bubble and squished it like a bug. Fuck Asshole. Rod Steiger. <laughs> Fuck him. <laughs> Fuck him. Lenny Bruce, let us say it. That's uh, right there, sir. You. Uh, excellent performances by you and uh, also Dustin Hoffman. Were you uh, nominated for uh, Oscar? You should have been. Yes, yeah, she was nominated for Best Actress. Also, yeah. And so was Dustin. And so was Dustin. Yeah. Oh, okay, that's how yes. you. Right there? Yeah, what was it like playing the female cop in Cannonball Run? <laughs> what was it like playing the female cop in Cannonball Run? <laughs> the whole point of the, the bit was a cop comes up to give me a ticket and I'm going to pretend that I, I think it's a man that's coming up. And so I try to push myself up and look real busty, thinking I'll talk myself out of the ticket. And all I had to do was, what was her name? No, it's the other way around. No, she had a huge. I was not the cop. I was driving, wasn't I? <laughs> Really? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> now you worked actually with another uh, female director named Nancy. You worked with Nancy Myers. Yes. You? How was that? That you was did, great. Uh, what what women want was that? Yeah. Yes, yes. So that that was better than Nancy Walker. Oh yes. A little bit. Or? A, a, a lot. <laughs> a lot. All right. Uh, we got time for just a couple more. Yes, right there. I was working with Jeff Bridges. Oh, Jeff Bridges. That's one of my favorite movies, Last American Hero. I fell in crush with him. Oh. Yeah. We had a lot of fun. We, 
he plays the guitar and sings, and we would get together, a whole bunch of us, after the shoot and sing songs. Well, I didn't sing, but they would sing songs, and we just had a really good, fun time. Right. That was directed by Lamont, Lamont Johnson. Johnson. Yeah, he's yeah. an excellent director. Sort of forgotten, but is his all his work is excellent. Yeah. 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 I've been lucky. Yeah. No, you've worked with a lot of you've worked a lot of really what I guess would be classified as actor directors. I mean, Arthur Hiller and Bob Fosse, Lamont Johnson, George Roy Hill. These are really solid, solid people. Right. Wow, it's amazing. Yes, right there, sir. Uh, Valerie, what do you think the key is to surviving Hollywood? The key to surviving Hollywood. Don't take it seriously. Mm -hmm. Or get out. I would do a film and then I'd run off to Europe. That's smart. <laughs> Find that one beach. Um, <laughs> but we, we, we gotta watch another movie so we, we, uh, we can't talk too long, but let's do a couple more because there's some people right over there, lady on the corner. I'm just wondering, have you been in touch with Dustin since you did the film? Have you been in touch with Dustin since you did the film more recently? Um, I went to see him doing um, a play on Broadway, I can't remember the name of the play, um, Shakespeare. Okay. Um, and it was so cute because I went backstage, of course, afterwards to say hello and blah, blah, blah. And the next day it was written up in all the newspapers. He'd obviously had his publicity agent call <laughs> and put my name in all the papers, which I thought was cute. Yeah, that's sweet. That's sweet. Anybody else? Way in the back one more time, yes. Uh, you've had really a great career, and there's been a lot of great events and pranks and so on, but is there just one event that happened during that personal to you that you really like? It could be something like the little dog in the same city, but something that really appeals to you in life. Was there any personal thing about your career that you did that you, that you just hold dear to yourself, a, a personal event that, that, rather vague question, but yeah, it's hard to answer. Not one. Not There's one. too many things. Right. And definitely not tonight. That's the <laughs> way down on your list. All right, everyone, Valerie Perrine, thank you so much for coming. We're going to take a short break, and then we're going to watch Slaughterhouse Five. Please stick around. It was great. Thank you.